Hey guys, welcome back to Sensei's Sneaky Vlog. Seriously guys, I will change the name of this channel. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of, of any name to do with Sensei, please let me know down in the comments below, okay? Love you guys, love ya. Okay, and also, you guys are putting on yourself. Sensei, what's this, what's this video all about? Um, if you guys did check out my Twitter status, and there was actually something I'm going to confess actually. I use Twitter more way than I do with Facebook, okay? Because I think Twitter for me is sort of like my second main home page, I'm going to say, okay? So if you guys are not already yet following me, please make sure that you do. And if you'll find the links, links on the links box below, you guys, please make sure that you do follow me, okay? Love you guys. Okay, so you guys are following to yourself, okay, what's this video all about? And I will give you guys my explanation. If you guys didn't find out, actually, um, I got accepted into media level 3, I did, um, earlier this month, basically, and, you know, it was cool, actually, you know, I, I was really excited, you know, couldn't sleep for days, um, I was just, you know, so much happy that I kept tweeting about it, I, I, I literally, literally tweeted about 3 or 4, or 3, 4, 5, 6 times a day, I think it was, so to speak, about it, and though, to be honest, it was pretty cool for me, um, that was not the case for yours truly because there's there's something here that that, that 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 you guys have to understand and before you guys yell at me in the comments below let me just explain to you guys okay first of all I suffer from dyslexia okay where I read backwards I can't read or write properly but I enjoy making you guys videos I love playing video games I love editing I love making thumbnails I just love all the cool stuff that I get to do here upon YouTube okay but the one thing I hate the most is paperwork. And though in my new course, though, I thought to myself, okay, cool, we're going to be doing 85% of filming and 15% 15, 15 of paperwork. But it was the other way around. It's 85% of paperwork and 15% of filming. And though, to be honest, I was kind of let down because on the first day, though, they were saying to me, oh, that we're going to be doing this, we're going to be doing that, and I got really, really excited. I was like, yes, finally, you know, I'm getting the, the, the chance, you know, to finally complete this so much. And then they kind of had to change some few things around, and this is where my interest for it kind of died so much, because really, though, it was just that me and my classmates uh, in class four times a day, sitting in class, doing essays and just watching a ridiculous amount of films and I was just like this is not what I really want to do I really don't want to do this because if you guys don't know I have a main channel which is Sneaky Sensei now you guys are wondering to yourself what is the definition of Sneaky Sensei knowing that I am dyslexia, guys I see I do suffer from from, from dyslexia. I do um, we are not that dumb okay we are quite smart we know things how to get around things are hard to do things quite differently okay so that's 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 how because that's how we are we're sneaky aren't we and my name is Sonia but my cousin called me sensei so therefore sneaky sensei was forged okay and the main thing is upon my channel what we do we do sort of video game let's play some walkthroughs we do music videos with video games and with my favorite band called skillet if you guys don't know who they are please some of the videos are links on the links box below you guys please make sure that you do check them out they're awesome christian rock band i really don't care what if one of you guys say because to be honest though you know they're christians and that's okay with me because at least that's one thing yet closer to god and i'm completely you know satisfied and happy with with all their tracks i mean i love them so much John Cooper, Corey Cooper, Jen Ledger, Seth Morrison. I love them all, okay? I really, really do. And though, uh, and though to be honest, though, the, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is that because I wanted to expand beyond video gaming. I wanted to do sketch comedies. I wanted to do my own films, my own music videos, and even collaborations with other YouTubers out there. And also uh, promotions, uh, sorry, promotions, um, sponsors, and affiliates, and brand deals with other companies. So this was the reason why, you know, I took up that media media level free course, and because I thought that would really benefit me, and that was not the case. It was once again, it was 85% of paperwork and 15% of filming, and and yes, maybe there were some kind of students there because I was dealing with 16, 17, and even 18 year olds. I was so much, and though to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm 28. Okay, I'm 28 years old. And I have made a massive mistake in my life 
back in 2009 when I hit 20 actually I was doing media level 2 and this is where I get really angry with some people is that because some teachers here they don't sit you down they don't they don't tell you things properly they don't say to you okay in, in the next two weeks periods coming up here it's just going to be introductions and then on the third week we're going to get to the meat of this entire course which is like filming editing and um and and you, you know uh filming editing and then uploading it to youtube or presenting it to a client or to someone else out there and that's where you know i kind of got really, really annoyed so a few years went past i went 2012 came i went back to college i did my btech level one of it i passed out of flying colors but during that time of period actually i discovered about youtube and what would i do what the things i would need to make my youtube channel better and all this and all that and it kind of led me back in a full circle again back into filming it in and then i think it was in 2013 i did a media level 2 course that was terrible seriously every two or three weeks we had a teacher that would get up he would chuck his paperwork on the table said it, i'm out of here guys see you goodbye and then we would seriously be left for like two or three weeks and then this is how ridiculous it was so one one week we would be studying video game making on the udk engine udk engine we would be doing and then the next two weeks we would be doing filming and then we would leave that and then we would do editing and then we would leave that we would do post-production leave that and then we would do uh the paperwork and that's how ridiculous it really was and i really wanted you know to learn you know each subject but in it but you know in in the proper you know distance of the time it was and that wasn't the case for us that was never the case for us so I got cheated and humiliated at my own sport, in my opinion I did. And there was one cool teacher back in my old college, his name was Tim. He tried so hard to fight for my side, he did. He fought very hard for me, he did. He goes there yeah, that, listen, that this this girl, you know, you know, she's a very hard worker. I can always depend on her and, you know, she can look after, you know, the rest of the kids in class. Even if there's like a small emergency, I have to go out. I can always, you know, re I can always... I can always depend and rely upon her to take care of everything and though they kind of said to me no they, they no joke no joke they were like no we're not accepting you and I'm like I'm like why is that why is that they're like, oh because we don't have the fundings or we don't have the time to teach a person with your condition and I'm like what seriously really I know how to film I know I know a little bit filming, mostly editing and thumbnails. It's just the filming I just need help with. And they were like, they're like, no, we're not keeping you. And then I went back last week after two years. And though, you know, it kind of feels like everything that I try to do, I get cheated or humiliated out of. And that's when, you know, I decided to put my foot down and I said to the teachers, look, listen, I'm getting no support in class. Because here in, the, here in the UK, we have this stupid rule, is that when you hit 25, basically, um, we can't, we are no longer able to go to college on a free basis, basically. So we don't have to pay for, for any of the course fees. But knowing that I'm 28 years old, I had to pay £3,000. And this is where, this is where another thing popped into my head as well, is that even 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 in, even in class here, if I, I I didn't get any support, there was no learner support. And if you guys are wondering what learner support is, is where a person who has learning difficulties because I have dyslexia, and um and a teacher would would come to you with, with each lesson, sit with you, and and you would still interact with the class, but you would probably be in, in the back listening and taking down notes and working with another teacher saying okay you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta do this you gotta do that okay nobody was with me i mean I only had a lady for one morning and that was it that was it there was no support everybody was a smart ass they were going way forward and i was left behind and i kind of felt like really uncomfortable and like and like an and like an, an idiot basically so i came home on th last thursday evening and i sat down and i was thinking about this very hardly i was like seriously though dude you're taking a three thousand pounds loan now you are and if you guys are wondering how much that is in dollars okay so basically i'm paying over four thousand dollars are you seriously freaking kidding me? Over four thousand grand 
I was basically supposed to take out a loan. I was basically meant to take out a loan for like three thousand pounds, which is actually like four thousand dollars, and um, and that would pay for the entire year of my course. But this is where some people really much annoyed me so much because. Though, coming back to the age group, you know, I, I was dealing with 16, 17 and 18 year olds, is that it ever, sometimes in life though guys, if you ever do come across a person who's older than, than, than you, they have stories to tell, they have advice to give you, you know, you should listen and, um, and appreciate them and, and take their advice as well so you don't make the same mistake as like they did. And though, to be honest though, I was kind of, you know, like, yeah, maybe left out, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming most of the students there. It maybe, maybe there were some students. Maybe there were some students. Okay, but I'm not gonna go go into to way, way much de details. And though to be honest, I kind of felt like really left out, and I didn't belong there on the second week. So basically, what happened was that I came back home. Um, I, I was I was counting up all the money, and yeah, it was three grand, which equals four thousand dollars basically. And it wasn't, and you know, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. Moral of the story was that it wasn't for me. It was a waste of time, waste of money, and a waste of my education. I'm gonna say, okay. So this is the reason why I didn't make you guys that video. Was that because, because what's really weird though is that, is that maybe i should have not mentioned that how how old i am maybe i shouldn't mention it to them because then then because it, it's stupid there because age does not matter it's the knowledge it's the it's the person's um it's the person's personality that really does matter you know if they're a funny person if they help you out if they give you good advice if they make a suggestions to you you know be thankful that you have somebody like that so much because I have made a lot of mistakes in my life. Seriously, I have so much. I have lost friends. I have lost teachers. Yes, I do stay in touch with my teachers, okay? Because I love them very much. Um, I think when I was about in, in high school, I met this awesome, awesome teacher. I did. She was seriously was fantastic. She was amazing. She was. Um, she kind of discovered that I had dyslexia and. I can remember one day she, she pulled me out of class and she goes to me, I want you to come with me, you're not in trouble, I want to sit with you and I want to test a few things with you. So we go off here and she and she was one that, that discovered about di dyslexia about me, but she did mention it to me, but the reason why she didn't she didn't say anything else to the teachers because in high school though there isn't that much support for you. I mean yeah, it will suck. School does suck, but afterwards though when you go to college or university it gets very very easy for you guys and though to be honest though that's where you know I kind of think that it was halfway the school the college and the students that kind of let me down the most and it was a seriously three thousand pounds alone or three thousand pounds which equals four thousand dollars that's a lot of money seriously that is like a lot of money with that money I could have bought myself like you know like a new cameras a new drone um some lighting equipment and much much more and that's when I decided though you know let's forget about this course because already though if you guys have not even heard me mention of a YouTube channel called Phil Moore all the links are links box below you guys please make sure that, that you do check them out they are cool awesome YouTube channel they are and they have their own editing software as well and that's one of I use every single time when I bring you guys my videos and what they do for us they teach us they teach us about filming, about editing and everything else. And I was like, well, maybe though I don't need media level free. Maybe I can stay home. Maybe I can work on my own terms and I can I can, you know, still you know, pull this thing around. And though actually I I had one of the coolest teachers, his name was James, and he said some pretty awesome things to us he did. It was his last lecture. He goes here, do you know why it's scary? Do you know why it's scary? When, when 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 you guys have to make your own projects because no one is there to show you what to do that hit me the most that really did hit me the most and there was another one he goes to us here you have to lose yourself to find yourself and what was the last one I can't remember the last one was give me one sec it was to um you're scared because no one is there to show there's no map to show you what to do you have to find yourself to lose yourself and 
to believe in yourself. That was that was it for me. That was it for me. Because he goes here, he goes here that, that if you guys don't put in the effort and if you guys don't believe in your own work, how would you accomplish anything in life? Because there will be obstacles in your life that you have to go around, you will have to work on it. And though to be honest though, with me though, is that I, I hate it because I can't read properly, I can't read or write properly and I can't, you know, get myself organised. That's how much I really, really hate it so much. And some of you guys out there might be thinking to yourself, oh, it's an excuse, it's an excuse. Fair enough, if, it's, if you guys think it's an excuse, fine, that's your opinion. You're more than welcome to leave me your thoughts in your comments below, okay? In the comment section below, okay? Because I believe that every person's opinions and thoughts does matter. And though, to be honest though, we should never fight, you know, never fight, never get a disagreement. Just try to respect their belief and their wishes and just move on and you can go on your way. Because really though, life is too short, seriously, life is too short. I have learned that the hard way, I have so much. Life is too short for you to hold grudges and for you to have like plenty of enemies. Because though, to be honest though, t tomorrow may never come, okay? And I really do believe in that, okay? And also, I really do believe in forgiveness as well. I mean, because if you guys have the strength and the willpower to forgive someone, then that's massive. Honestly, though, that is a like, freaking massive. That is so much. Because as a person who believes in God and Allah, that if you don't forgive, how do you expect Him to forgive you in a way, okay? And and this is, uh, this is the reason why I wanted to bring you guys this video, was that I wanted to, you know, clear the air and I wanted to explain to you guys what the heck was going on however though I'm not leaving you guys empty handed because I did take some few shots of the college and if you guys like to watch them um, here you go some few clips enjoy Okay, cool. So I hope that, that, that you guys really did, did enjoy those few clips that I showed you. Um, actually, what's really funny though was that the whole college, you know, it was... The, the, the ceiling was, was like really, really big. You know, it was like really, really big. I was like, wow, this place is massive, isn't it? And actually, what's really funny though was that on the first day when I got to college, I was exploring college, okay? Because I had no idea what the classroom was, no idea what the library was. They had a freaking gym. <laughs> I was like, what? You guys got a gym? And there was two teachers behind me like, yeah, we have a gym. Down the hall, turn left, first door. I was like, oh, thank you. And though, to be honest though, um, and also a small little confession as well, what I'm gonna make to you guys. I've not fully left college. I haven't yet, I haven't left college just yet. I'm actually doing my functional skills, okay? And if you guys don't know what functional skill is, it's sort of like GSEs, basically. It's sort of like GSEs or higher education where somebody with my condition, functional skills is sort of like a platform that I can understand and I know how to work around it. So that's the reason why, you know, I've not fully left college just yet. I'm only attending evening classes. So during the day, I'm at home making you guys these YouTube videos and hanging out with you guys to so answer your questions and your theories. And then I think it's about 5 or 6 p.m. I'm supposed to head out to head out to the bus station, grab the bus, get to college, and I don't finish until 8 or 9. And apparently, I've heard yet, yeah, if you go through evening classes, there is more support for you on, on that platform there. So this is the reason why I have not fully left college just yet. I've just left my main course. But though, the more of the story is though, guys, I really want to inspire you guys not to make the same mistake that I did. If you guys are still young and you still don't know what to do, please go see your tutors, go see a counsellor, go see a careers advisor, get some get some support please. Because because you know, time is time is time. I was gonna say time is money actually so to speak. Because once once that that that, that your time is gone, it's gone. You're not getting it back. You're seriously not getting it back. But for me, I am terribly blessed here upon YouTube because on my main channel, we just hit over 44,000 reviews we have. And also, I just hit actually 82 subscribers. 
and though to be honest, that is enough for me and I'm so much grateful to have that and you guys are probably wondering to yourself that's not a lot of numbers that's not even enough well to me it is it's 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 beyond enough for me it is so much because though it's kind of giving me sort of like a second sense of hope that I don't have to go back to college I don't have to go back to school to do what I love to do the most all you've got to do is be yourself to believe in yourself and to lose yourself and to show yourself yet yeah, how to do something yourself because nobody taught me how to do filming nobody taught me how to do video gaming editing or thumbnails I learned all on my own so hopefully now yet yeah, with this advice maybe I've inspired some few people or some few students that to not to drop out of school or to have second thoughts that maybe that course what they're doing is not for them and maybe they could choose a different course but please seriously don't waste time don't drop out of college or school don't fight don't hold grudges and just be kind to anyone that that walks into your life because I have lost I've actually I haven't I haven't lost I just I just badly miss my best friend H I miss her so much because when 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 we were together basically you know we were hanging out every single day we would talk about loads of stuff and though I kind of do miss her company so much you know I miss her so much you know I tried to call her and her phone's mucked up so I really got no idea what the heck's doing on that um I tried to FaceTime her she doesn't pick up I tried text um she's she's just a person that 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 had a pretty unusual life I'm gonna say okay so I'm gonna leave it there on that point um, anyway though if you guys have enjoyed this video I'm so sorry I've rambled on enough if you guys have enjoyed this video please you know what to do which is like comment subscribe um, spread this video around the internet please if you guys want because there's many reviews many likes and many new subscribers that we can get up on this channel I can do more cool things for you guys okay and actually um, I do have a couple of things for you guys actually before I end this video I did do one video for you guys, well actually I did it for the, for the course until I left. So if you guys want to see that, I will be more than happy to post it online for you guys. Please do expect to see two different versions, okay? One's going to be a copyrighted version and the other version is going to be a non-copyrighted version, okay? So make sure that you guys do stay tuned for that, okay? And also, if you guys haven't checked out my Claudia Black videos as well, they're probably on the left or the right hand side or in the annotation below please check them out if you guys don't know who she is she is actually an awesome actress actually because I've been following her since 2009 and if you guys know me pretty well I love Uncharted okay and she was she was she made her first debut in Among Thieves of Uncharted Among Thieves I loved her in that game I mean the first moment when I saw Chloe I was like I love this woman so much because she was like a, a really cool character and I, I loved her to bits and ever since then actually I've been following her work and seriously she's just like a really cool lady she is so much very tall very wacky but but though that's one thing I like about I love wacky people seriously I love wacky people if you guys are wacky please I would love to get to know you I would love to hear your wacky stories and you know just to understand your personality as well okay but anyway though if you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys have enjoyed anything else i've mentioned this entire video please the comment section below is your area to ask me um you guys can follow me upon facebook no yeah so you guys can follow me upon twitter you guys can facebook i'm not doing a page for facebook because it just seems like a lot of hassle for me it does but on my facebook page there is my sneaky sensei and also on Twitter there's Sneaky Sensei as well and on my other YouTube channel Sneaky Sensei please make sure that you do you know check me out if you guys do like please like comment and subscribe please love you guys and um and yeah though I mean to be honest though, that's all I have to say but though to be honest though, it's 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 not the end for me because I'm just getting started now I'm really am getting started now because I've got so many cool ideas for like sketch comedies um, unboxings and even challenge videos oh my god challenge videos how can I forget challenge videos there will be challenge videos or behind the scenes coming to you guys very soon okay but if you guys are really quite excited to hear me hear me out you guys have to wait until my next video okay so on that note once again thanks for watching I love you guys so next time probably catch you a lot on the very next episode take care bye guys love you